erecting the fence, we say, is a, is a denial of the rights of our people to enter the property, enter the sea. And we are asking the Moncures to respect that. The Friends of Bluefields Beach have a concern about a fence that has been erected across the entrance to the beach, denying access to people who have been using this beach for over 500 years. Fishermen use it and people use it. And without any notice, a fence went up in three days blocking access to the sea. There are two stairs, two steps, one at, uh, uh, which is uh, constructed of stone and another by cement that people use to en enter the sea. Those are blocked off. Mm -hmm. We wish the Moncures to remove the fence and restore access. Mm -hmm. One of the concerns that we have been having over the years before this fence has been put up is that when swimmers are in the water or even trying to walk on the sand heading in their direction they are always told by workers maybe sometimes the owners not to enter that section it's for their guests only and we are supposed to swim don't go into the station not up even if you are 12 feet in the water it's a concern for them mm -hmm. So and recently, mm -hmm. we have gone to the beach and we were told that they are about to fence the property by just walkers or people who use the beach because the property is theirs. Mm -hmm. And in three days, the hole was dug and the fence was up. But nobody said anything to us. I just went there and was a little, um, just wondering, I saw some marks like survey mm -hmm. and when I inquired I got a feedback that they were about to run a fence and I went back two days after the holes were there and the next day the fence was up. So the concern is that you and other senior citizens normally use the stairs to access the beach and you no longer have that. Those stairs are not there again. Okay. We are being told that we are to go further down because the other section is for UDC but where they have fence is not private property. Mm -hmm. So for us to get access to the beach, we have to go down another maybe 50 yards and try to find our way in the water. So it gives you a challenge getting into the water. Yeah, especially using because we have lots of um, people who are up in age. We have mm -hmm. people there up to 85. Mm -hmm. And it's a regular thing for them to come to the beach in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And some will have problems walking. Mm -hmm. So we are all used to those entrances which are being shut out from us. We are told that UDC is sending a surveyor mm -hmm. to come to see if where the fence is is where the Montior's property. Mm -hmm. But even if it is the Montior's property, mm -hmm. they cannot deny access to the beach. It's my understanding that nobody should be in any structure within 15 feet of the high water mark, mm -hmm. which should be public access. So even if the property is there, they should not be building a structure without a permission from NEPA. Mm -hmm. That is my understanding. Mm -hmm. So, even if they are lying down here, there should not be a fence because it says it's actually on the sand, very close to the high water mark, which is much less than 15 feet. One of the reasons why the fence has been erected is the fact that their lawyer has advised them that they could become liable for persons accessing the beach illegally through their property, especially in the COVID period when it is alleged that persons used to break down the UDC fence and enter the property. No, Why are you aware of No, that? but the fact is, if they are not permitted by law mm -hmm. to put up anything within 15 feet of that high water mark, then I would not see how they would be left. If it was outside of that, Permit up to the closer to the above, then I would understand that. Mm -hmm. But putting a fence virtually into the water, uh, no, by no means they could be liable. If the law says that you can't build a fence within 15 feet of the high water mark, mm -hmm. then how could you be liable? You're asking them to? They should be the fence be removed without proper authority. Which I, if they were given the authority, there would have been a notice posted where all could see that they, it was their intention to be. Anything 
to be built within that 15 feet. Mm -hmm. It is my understanding that there should be an approval by neighbor and that that notice should have been posted for the public to see that they are going to close off or to do anything permanent within 15 feet of the high water mark. If this letter that we have written to you, DC and NEPA, is not addressed mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in, in a short space of time, we intend to file action, a class action, against the Montures on the Section 4 of the Prescriptive Rights Act, as was done at Winifred Beach some time ago in order to bring proper order and justice to the people who have been using this beach for years. Mm -hmm. We are not trying to prevent the Montures from enjoying their property and they must not interfere with the rights of the public, which is guaranteed to us under the Constitution and by a law passed in 1956, the Beach Control Act by then Premier N.W. Manley. That law is his genius to allow Jamaicans and people to have free access along the beach between the high and the low water mark. We feel that UDC should come to the parish, to the beach park, hold a seminar, a public seminar, and try to clear up the issues. Mm -hmm. Transparency is very important. If they have some secret arrangement with the Montios, we should know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can't become all of a sudden and then fence off the property and deny access to people who have been using this property for years.